There's a free Photoshop alternative online called Lunapic. I'll put a link to it in the video description below. It's a pretty cool website. Now the biggest upside is that there's a ton of features. You can see here on the top there's a menu and there's just absolutely endless things that you can do. When you upload a photo or an image, you can then adjust it, filter it, add effects to it, artifacts, it's pretty cool. The biggest downside is that this is a bit of a clunky interface and things are not necessarily intuitive. So this is a walkthrough designed for complete beginners. If you've never heard of Lunapic before, that's okay, you're in the right place. Let's jump in with some tips and tricks on using this really cool free Photoshop alternative. Okay, let's take a look here at the main menu. When you first get on the main page, you're gonna see a few options. There's menus along the top and there's a lot of things. It can be a little overwhelming. There's also editing tools and effects and filters in the middle. There's also this weird URL thing that you can go to. So what I would encourage you to do to start is to click on this edit a photo upload button right here. Okay, so I've just gone onto a website called Pixabay, which is just a free stock image website here. I'm gonna use a picture of this lovely lady. I'm gonna click it and then click open. And we'll see now the image has been loaded into Lunapic. From here, I can adjust the photo, I can edit the photo, I can do all sorts of things with it. I'm just gonna zoom out here so you can see it. And if you zoom out so you can see a really large picture, it'll make the menu items very small. So I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see the menu items. And what I'm gonna do here is just apply, for example, an effect I'm gonna go here to Kaleidoscope. So just Effects, Kaleidoscope. It's gonna process the image and then it will give you an updated image based on what you've uploaded as an original photo. So there's lots of different options in here, but basically you upload a photo and then you manipulate the photo somehow. Now you can do this a second time and a third time. So these are cumulative effects. So I can go Art, for example, and then Smoke, and it's actually changed the image based on two filters. I changed my original picture of the woman into a art pick, and then I changed that art pick into a smoky art pick. So you can see here there's a history button down at the bottom, and you can see if you click on it, there's your original image. If you click the back button, you can click on the other one as well. So you have a history of images, and you'll see them progress down on the bottom. Now there's also a menu along the left-hand side, and it can be a little bit hard to see. So I'm gonna zoom in here. So you can just hover over each of the items here. You've got a text tool, a cutout tool, there's a rotate tool, an add gradient tool, and so on, all the way down the list. Now, if you'd like to close out this image, there's a little X button right here on the left-hand side. When I click close image, it'll ask me, do you want to close your image? If I say yes, it's going to be gone. I can't open it up again. So I'm going to click close image, and now it's completely gone. So when I go back to the Lunapic logo at the top, this just takes me back to the main page, and I've cleared my cache, so to speak, so I can now upload a new photo and start from the beginning. Okay, so let's take a look at some effects here. On the main menu, as I hover over each item, you're gonna see different submenus pop up. So right here is the view all effects button at the top, and then there's other effects down below. I'm gonna click view all effects. And you can see here, they've got little thumbnails, which can be helpful if you're still learning how to use these. There's also a more effects option down below. So if I click on that, you'll see even more effects. So again, I wanna point out, these are a bit of clunky old menus. This feels like an old 1990s website, but there's some pretty cool effects hiding inside of Lunapic here. I'm gonna click on this photo spread one, for example. And then I'm gonna click on the browse button right here at the top. And I'm gonna click my picture of my eagle and I'll click open. And what'll happen is it will take the image and it will make it look like there's a bunch of different photos underneath it. So that's kind of neat if you're doing, say, a t-shirt design or a fine art print, even a social media post. That's kind of a nice feature. It's a cool effect. Another effect that I like to use, I'm going to hover over the effects button, and I'm going to go down here to ink portrait, and I'm going to click the browse button. I'm going to pick my lady here and click open, and we can see that gets us a pretty cool art effect as well. Of course, the backgrounds and the image itself are going to play a large part in the successful rendering of whatever art print that you're looking for. To save the image is pretty straightforward. You just go to whatever image is the output and you can right click it and you can click save image as and it will typically save it as a PNG image and you can rename it if you like as well. There's also a save option on the left hand side. On the left menu, I'm gonna click this little floppy disk from the 1980s. I'm gonna click save image and you can see here now you have an option to save the image as a GIF file or a PNG, JPEG, BMP file. There's a ton of different options here. So this is kind of nice if you're more picky about what you'd like to save the image as. 
There are some great art effects on Lunapic. At the top menu, I'm just gonna scroll on over to art right there. And you can see famous artworks, newest artifacts, and then a whole bunch down here. So I'm gonna to go to Picasso. I'm gonna simply upload my image. I'm gonna pick the same lady that we did before. And we can see now, this is a really cool looking art print. If you can imagine you're selling a fine art print online or a t-shirt design, social media post, that's a really nice feature. Your different mileage may vary based on the underlying image. So make sure you've got a clean image, a high quality image, and you can really have some fun changing the image into an art pick. There's some cool border effects as well on Lunapic, and I'm gonna use the same image that we just used here. So my Picasso-esque picture, I'm gonna put a border around it. So I'm just simply gonna leave it as is. I'm not saving it. I'm just gonna go here to the main menu on the top, and I'm gonna go up to borders, and then I'm gonna go here to picture frame. And then from here, I can see I've now framed the photo. It's just a digital photo, but it looks like it has a frame and a mat on it. And I can even change the frame just by clicking on the top. You'll see the frame now becomes different wooden frames. Now, if you want to undo the effect, it's right at the top here. You may undo this effect. I'm gonna click undo and you'll see now I have no frame. So I could try a different frame if I like. I could go up to borders and I could go over to Polaroid and now you can see that's a nice feature as well, especially for social media if you're trying to liven up some of your selfies. There's some cool animation features on Lunapic as well. They're pretty simple, but they're pretty effective. And so here on the top, I'm gonna to go up to animation. And then I'm gonna to go to, for example, sunburst. We can see this is the example of the sunburst tool. I'm gonna to select my image here at the top. I'm gonna to select my eagle and click open. We can see now the eagle has a sunburst background in behind it. Now you can also animate it by clicking this little animated button here. And when I click finalize, it now changes it to an animated file. If I right click and I save the image, it's going to actually try to save it as a GIF image, which is a animated picture. You can also click the download button at the top and it effectively does the same thing. It'll save it as a GIF file. Another one that I really like under animation is the snowfall option. I'm gonna click snowfall. I'm gonna grab an image here by clicking browse. I'll click my lady here and click open. And we can see very easily now there's snow falling on her. That's pretty cool. I really hope you found this video walkthrough helpful. There are a ton of options in Lunapic, way more than any one video could ever show. Look at the bottom here. It says effects and filters, black and white, country flags, 200 plus more effects. If I click on that, you're gonna see a lot of effects here and then more effects and there's even more effects so you can spend hours and hours having fun manipulating your images on Lunapic. If there's one specific thing that you'd love to get a tutorial on, please do let me know in the comments. I'd love your questions and comments. Again, I hope you found this helpful. Here's another video on how you can have some fun manipulating some images for free. Thanks a lot for watching.